Well, hello everyone. Santino from Bowman's Hill Wildflower Preserve coming back at you with another quick uh, native plant video. Um, I want to take a quick moment to showcase one of my favorite species. Now that we are here in uh, the month of October, many folks are thinking about plants kind of winding down for the season, but we still have some glorious plants here at the preserve. Um, one of my favorite ones to showcase uh, is this one that's right next to me. This is the closed or bottle gentian. Um, and it got that name because its petals while in full bloom are, or its flower while it's in full bloom is actually, all the petals are closed as you can see right here. So um, this is a plant that is ready to be pollinated and looking for wonderful insect visitors. Um, now, because this plant is closed, the flower of this plant is closed, it requires a very strong uh, pollination partner in order to get to the pollen that's held inside that flower. Um, these particular plants have co-evolved alongside our native bumblebees. Uh, bumblebees are strong enough to be able to pull open those uh, petals and get down to the nectar and pollen that is deep inside. Uh, because the insects have to work so hard to get to it, the plant does reward them with a deliciously amazing treat. Uh, bottle gentian or closed gentian actually has the highest sugar content of any plant. Um, it's about 40-45% sugar, which is phenomenal. Um, uh, I mean, at least for the insect. And the humans find sugar content that high also phenomenal. Um, it's about the same sugar content that you'd find in a Mountain Dew. Uh, so bottle gentian is basically the soft drink of the native plant world. Um, now, careful observers of this plant will notice that the tips of these different blooms are different colors. Uh, some of the flowers have pink or purple tips, and some of them have white tips. So if I go down here, you can see that this one here is purple, and this one here is more white. Now, that is also a beautiful co-evolution when it comes to to the insect community. Um, insects vision is slightly shifted compared to that of our own. Uh, we look at the light spectrum, we call it visible light, the light we can see, and that runs from all the way from red light all the way through violet light. Now insects, their, their vision shifted just a little bit and kind of starts at where our vision would be the yellow range. And then their vision extends all the way through ultraviolet. So one of the things that they cannot see very well are the red colors. So this plant, um, if you see it with a purple or reddish tip, that is a flower that's already been visited by a different bee. So future insects will know, future bees will know they don't need to bother with that plant. It's already been pollinated and um, they're not gonna get any nectar from it. Whereas the flowers with white tips um, are ones where, where there's still a delicious nectar reward and it's in need of pollination. So not only does the color change, right, signify that there's nectar or not nectar, but it actually shifts towards a, a color that is more difficult for the insect to see, um, which is a really, really beautiful uh, co-evolution there. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video showcasing one of my favorite native plants, the bottle or closed gentian. Um, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. And in the meantime, I encourage you to all keep on experiencing what's natural and learning what's native. Take care and have a great one.